Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Dennis with Eureka and I want to take some time today to walk you through an example or a demonstration of how Eureka can work really well with Salesforce Maps. So let's get right into it. For those of you that are not familiar with what Eureka is, we're a Salesforce native forms application that allows mobile users to be able to fill out forms in the field and map that information back to Salesforce. Um, and while we provide people with a positive form experience, and an uh, easy way to collect information that's going to pass back to the system, uh, we're also able to show and hide different pieces of information, kind of guiding users through a specific process. And so what, we, what we're really proud of is the ability to be able to quickly generate forms inside of Salesforce, deploy those out to users so that they can complete those forms while they're in the field and on the go for whatever use case they might um, be addressing. And then ultimately all that data is gonna make its way back into Salesforce uh, so that we can make better decisions uh, through reporting and dashboarding and, uh, and better business processes. And as it pertains to Salesforce Maps, a common use case that we see is that Salesforce Maps is great at routing, creating routes and directing people to a specific location. Um, but when they arrive, uh, a lot of times we see that people need to be able to fill out a form or a checklist um, that is uh, specifically related to what they're seeing in front of them. So uh, using the two applications together can be really powerful. So for the demo today, uh, we're going to be using a retail execution use case. And so I'm going to begin inside of Salesforce. Then we're going to use the Salesforce Maps app to direct us to a series of grocery stores. Uh, and then when we enter a grocery store, we're going to actually use the, the Eureka mobile application to fill out a store visit form uh, where I can kind of go through, assess some of the products that are on the shelf, uh, and then ultimately push the information back to Salesforce and manage the whole business process that way. So let's jump over to my Salesforce environment. What you see on the left is the Salesforce Maps application inside of Salesforce, and what you see on the right is the, Sales, is the Salesforce Maps mobile application on my iPhone. Now what you can see here is I have a bunch of different stores in the Denver area that I need to go visit today. Uh, and we can create a route from those different locations. And that could be just a simple drag and drop route that was put together uh, on an ad hoc um, basis. Or we could create, you know, the, you could use the advanced routing capabilities inside of Salesforce Maps to generate your route for the day. But in any case, what ends up happening is as soon as I can find the particular location that I want to go visit, I can use Google Maps to ultimately to take me there and make it very easy to navigate. And when I get there, I can use some of the quick actions here on the application that let me open up my store visit form. So this is when I'm walking in the front door of this particular grocery store. Uh, I can open up my store visit survey and start answering questions. What we see here is some pre-populated information from the account record. And I can also just open up some uh, additional questions here based on answers to previous questions. So in this case, if the store manager prefers a phone number or to prefer to be contacted by phone, we can open up the phone number and make an adjustment there. So we'll just say that that's their new phone number. We can also go into the aisle and start looking at pieces of inventory, right? So uh, if I need to check on which products are currently present in the store, I could open up this inventory menu right here, use our barcode scanner to quickly scan a product, and this is going to pull up a product from Salesforce. And then I can just quickly indicate that, uh, you know, it's in stock. We see 18 of these, and they're currently listed at $8.99. Uh, and those are at the top shelf. If I wanted to, I could add an additional product, but I'll just keep moving on for the sake of time. Now, the other thing we could do is we could perhaps check on marketing assets. So maybe we have a coffee display that's serialized um, that's in the store right now. And so we could scan that barcode as well, indicate that, uh, you know, perhaps we installed this display and we did it today. And then we'll go ahead and move on. Now, at this point, we might do a shelf space analysis. So the first question is, you know, how many shelves are our coffee products occupying? We're on two shelves and each shelf is four feet wide. And there are, uh, there are four shelves on the gondola, so we have 32 square feet uh, for our products. And there's actually five shelves of coffee products, so we're currently looking at a 40% um, um, uh, usage of shelf space in this particular grocery store. We'll also take a look at some competitive information, like whether or not our prices are higher or lower than average. And then we'll just take a quick picture of the shelf to understand kind of where our products sit amongst the others. We'll save that photo and we can take a look and mark it up if we want to. Uh, and all this is information is going to get passed back to Salesforce. 
We could also say that maybe there's a new uh, real estate available. So if we want to pitch our, our NCAP display to the store manager, we can provide that promotional opportunity right here. We'll get some quick feedback from the manager. So maybe they'll say, I'm interested in this. Can we get it set up next week? Indicate the date and time of our visit and then also sign off from the store manager. If I wanted to create a follow-up task in Salesforce, I could do that here at the moment as well. Uh, but for, again, for the sake of time, I'll just click Submit and we'll push this back to Salesforce. Now what happens is all the data is going to go back into Salesforce uh, and we'll indicate that this store visit is in fact complete. And then what I can do is I can now exit the store, head back over to my Salesforce Maps application and move on to the second store in my route. So it's very easy for me to be able to methodically move through my entire route, fill out some information, uh, and pass it all back to Salesforce. Now if I go back into the system, what I can see here is these are all the accounts that I have been visiting that all my reps have been visiting. Um, and we can go in and see uh, those individually, or we can go in and actually see the forms that have been created. So uh, when we click on any particular form record inside of Salesforce, this has been added by the, the Eureka mobile application. And so we can jump in here and see all the different data points that uh, were entered by our user while they were in the field. This includes all the shelf space analysis, even the photos that were added uh, while we were on site. We also get some helpful insights indicating that there are things like competitors present, that there's a real estate opportunity. Uh, we can plug into Einstein sentiment and Einstein vision uh, to you know, uh, consume information that way as well. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have other questions, feel free to visit us at eureka.io to learn more.